depending on which one of you, October ghosties and ghoulies is ready for a spooky good time. Cause boy, I'm gonna give it to you. As you can tell by my apartment, I friggin' love Halloween. But the only thing that I love more than Halloween is probably zombies. I love zombie movies. I love zombie video games. And I daydream about being in the zombie apocalypse 24 seven, which is kind of dumb because in reality, I'd probably just get killed instantly by someone a lot stronger than me. Or I would just become a zombie. <laughs> That's the, that's the sad truth, but it's still fun to think about. Anyways, my point is, is I love zombies very, very, very much, and I love crafting, and I love making things, so today we're gonna make something incredibly repulsive, which is going to be an edible zombie hand. I think I'm gonna be good at this, but I'm not entirely sure we're gonna kind of figure it out together, but let's just go ahead and get started and see how we do. All right, so what ingredients do we need to bring our disgusting hand to life? Well, first we're gonna use Jello, because this thing's mostly made out of Jello, and this is easy and cheap, and you can find it at any grocery store ever. And then we're gonna need some food coloring, of course, because we don't want it to just be one color, or it wouldn't be very detailed. Some fat-free evaporated milk, and some Comstock Country Cherry, just because I think it'd be fun to add some gore details. And of course, the most important part is our very, very, very creepy hand mold. By the way, this zombie mold is on Amazon for like four bucks. Okay, so here I have this whole mess of ingredients, all right? I think I know what I'm doing. I kind of know what I'm doing, although I do have a Christmas glove, which probably isn't great for a Halloween video because I have to have boiling water for the jello. Oh, but you know what? Hang on. Oh, Santa bit into a friggin' baby. Look it, I made him a cannibal. Now it's a Halloween oven mitt. Okay, so let's start with the jello here. So we're doing two of these. First one. Second one. I'm sorry, this is the only clear container I had. It's just my French press for my coffee, but <laughs> it looks kind of spooky, right? Like something you'd see in a scientist lab. One cup boiling water, one cup cold water. Let me get my cannibal Santa. One, two. Ah! Ouch! Damn it! Oh, it's not that hot. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. So because we don't want our jello to be transparent, because that would not look like flesh. Ew, what does that taste like? <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's milk on me. I'm gonna freak out. Half a cup of condensed milk into our cold water. And that's one and a half cups of cold water here that we are adding to our two cups of boiling water. Yeah. Ew! It looks a little pink right now. We're gonna try adding a pinch of yellow food coloring. Okay, so now that we have our disgusting fleshy liquid, we're going to pour it into our hand mold. Ew! And then this bad boy is gonna go in the refrigerator. Okay, so when you put it in your refrigerator, it's really important to keep it even, okay, and level. And now we just wait two hours while it sets. So see you in two hours. Okay, I have some good news and some bad news. I went to just go play Grand Theft Auto for a little while, and then I fell asleep for eight hours. But on a bright note, I did have a dream that Tyler, the creator, and I started a very successful fabric store. So there's that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna friggin' scrub! Ah! We did it! It's kind of fleshy colored. Sorry, I'm cool. I knew I was gonna do it. It's not even a big deal. <laughs> so we're just gonna get a knife now and cut the edges of the mold away. Next up is we're gonna... <laughs> Sorry, I don't even know what I have here. We're going to give this hand some actual zombie detail. How are we gonna do that? Ask nobody. We're gonna use this here food coloring. Damn it, this is cute. I'm having freaking a good time. Ew, gross. Wow, this is really revolting. Okay, so now I'm just giving him some little definition in his veins, because he has veiny hands. All right. <clears throat> now let's give him a little bit of dirt like in his fingers and stuff, make him look like really disgusting. Cause zombies get dirty, don't you know? They bite, they scrawl, they scratch, and they scream. I think your fingernails get yellow after you die. Can someone ask a dead person if your fingernails get yellow after you die? I don't mean like a dead person in your life. I don't mean like your grandma. Sorry if your grandma's dead. Okay. I just got this kind of fun idea to use pumpkin pie spice to make it look like dirt, all right? Because I feel like zombies would be really dirty. Now, of course, we're gonna add some blood detail. The way this hand got ripped off was not a clean slice. This was not a clean sever. This was like torn off, which is very gross. We're gonna get around his fingernails really dirty because they don't got time to manicure. My gosh, I just looked down at this and got scared. Ew. Okay, ah, this looks a little bit cleaner. Um, as you can see, this is looking pretty damn spooky, pretty friggin' crazy. Now, we're gonna gore up the gore. And that is where our canned cherries come in. Oh, those are so good. Oh, okay, everyone eat canned cherries. Mm. Okay, so I'm just actually eating the canned cherries now, which is my breakfast, which is kind of depressing. So now I'm just adding a little bit of the gore, kind of making it look like, you know, kind of kind of to extend the hand a little bit, make it look like he kind of, the hand crawled here or something. Mmm. <sighs> you guys, we did it, we're done. Uh, time to look at the final product. We made this hand here. You guys know what, I'm actually really proud of this thing. I think this is really cool. We have made something truly spooky and disgusting. <laughs> and uh, it was really easy. All that we did was use food coloring and jello. 
that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, there was some milk involved, but you could use milk from your refrigerator. I used cherries for pizzazz, but you don't even have to do that. And I used a $4 mold from Amazon. My point is, is that you can make this for Halloween parties. I'm not any sort of painter. I just kind of took my time with it. So there's our edible zombie hand. And you know what? At this point, it's just customary that I should probably try one of the fingers. <laughs> Ew! And we got one zombie finger. Gross! No! Look, I ate two fingers, so... Ew! Now he's being rude! <laughs> Ew! You get the idea. That was so fun. Thank you so much for doing that with me. If you like what you've seen here, I'm always doing insane stuff on this channel and I'm here every week. So you can just subscribe right there if you want, okay? And if any of you make this, by the way, please show me, show me on Instagram. If you tag me in this Instagram, I will see it, I promise. So if any of you do this, show me. And I'll put the link for the hand mold in the description below so you guys can do this yourself too. Okay, so that's a wrap on the hand. All right, something I do in every video because I love talking to you guys. I read every single comment and that is true because my favorite thing about having a YouTube channel is talking to you guys. Guys. So at the end of every video, I ask you guys a question and then my next video I talk about my favorite responses to last week's video. <laughs> okay, so last week's question because I'm, I'm obviously obsessed with Halloween is I asked you guys what you're gonna be for Halloween. Your responses were maybe my favorite responses to any question ever. So let me tell you a few of those real quick. Channel Edwards said, Jandals in Google Images. <laughs> I can't wait to see how you go about that. Drake Sapolik said, you're good at editing? Question mark. Thanks, Drake. Joyce L said, you look like that sexy guy from American Horror Story. Thank you. I can only assume you're talking about Kathy Bates. Lizzie Gregorash said, I'm going to be the ham from To Kill a Mockingbird. Where do you got, what is, how do you, awesome. General Mia, I'm going to be Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. Awesome. Lepsy Dies said, Poison Ivy. That's what I'm going to be. I've always wanted to be Poison Ivy for Halloween. These three peas in a pod, I'm just gonna show you real quick what they said. Brenda, ketchup, piper, pineapple, nat mat, egg. Brianne Nierhood asks, can I be Garrett for Halloween? Yeah, sure, here's a quick starter pack. Danielle Goldstein had one of my favorite comments. I'm gonna be a baby in a pig costume with a big lollipop and everything. Can you tell I'm excited? Yes, but also, what? And Mayit closed it out with, don't you just love dogs? <laughs> yeah, I love dogs. Hell yeah, dogs all day. All right, you guys, thank you so much for those comments. I love everything that you have to say. As for this week's question, what I really wanna know from you, and because we're getting closer to Halloween, things are getting spookier, what's the scariest thing that's ever happened to you when you were alone? So it could be a ghost thing, it could be someone that you thought was a murderer breaking into your house. You guys, please let me know in these comments below and we will be discussing that because I really want to know what the scariest thing that ever happened to you was. If you like my videos, you know what to do. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! That's, I'm just gonna drop that anywhere. We're gonna do an eyeball! Look at this! Okay. Ugh, it's a Snickers. Look at this is gonna look beautiful. Okay, you see what we have here? So let's put them in. Look at it! We have to take them out. Oh! But, but freaking yeah, hell yeah, man, look.